Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, good evening. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, depending on where you're watching from. So I want to say good evening. I want to say good afternoon. I want to say good morning to some, like uh, maybe they're in the morning and they're part of the world. You're all welcome to this powerful program. And it promises to be very great, very exciting, very interactive, very <laughs> everything like we're going to learn today beyond what we have um, learned before. It's going to be outside the box. And it's, it's going to be something that is not usual. So today, uh, you know, many people know me, they say, okay, has she come to teach us? Has she come to teach us addiction? No, today is not for addiction. We're just, today, tonight we're going to like um, interact. We're just going to like, I'm going to express my mind about um, kingdom perspective about self-development. Kingdom perspective about self-development, especially to um, drama ministers, but not limited to drama ministers, to everybody watching me. I don't know what you're into, whether you're a businessman or whether, I don't know, whatever your ministry might be, whether you're singing, whether, you know, anything, you're ushering, you know, anything you're doing in the kingdom of God, this is just the kingdom perspective about self-development. And once again, my name is Oluwabu Mibamitale. So um, I'm a diction coach, I'm an actor, I'm a drama minister, I'm into a lot of things, but today we're going to be talking about what I've told you, which is once again, kingdom perspective about self-development. I would like to start by saying that, that, you know, in life, life is in stages, life is in phases. So there are times that you start and you feel like, okay, this should not or maybe, okay, you're starting, you're having a humble background, you're having a humble start. And then, you know, by the time you start growing in life, you know, we shouldn't just be on a sport. It's about self-development. So development is actually about um, you, you developing yourself, you not being on a sport, you moving. Whether you're walking, ensure you're moving, whether you're running, whether you're you're crawling, just to ensure you're not on the spot. And that is why we're here. And this is, a, this is a, um, an aspect that many people do not really pay attention to. Okay, I want to like start with the story of David. I love using this illustration a lot. David, you know, started, he was introduced to war and then he not really introduced, he wasn't, he wasn't really prepared. You know, he went to the war front just to give something to, to deliver the message of the father as we all know the story. And then he was there and then he saw Goliath and he was like, what is happening? And they explained everything to him. Okay, and he wanted, it was like, why should this um, uncircumcised Philistine, you know, defy the God of Israel? So he decided to fight Goliath. And do you know that um, fighting Goliath, he didn't use the sword, he didn't use, uh, you know, all those things that are being, you know, known for fighting the war. You know, he didn't use all that. He used his sling. You know, he used the sling. And then using the sling, uh, you know, it was, it was not prepared for the war. But he used the sling. And using the sling, he, he killed Goliath. And everybody started, wow, David killed Goliath. What did he use? He used the sling. He wasn't really prepared. He wasn't prepared at all. He wasn't really prepared. So it was like, okay, if he had used the sling, and but what I learned about David in that story was that that battle was the last that he used the sling for. After killing Goliath, it wasn't recorded that he used the sling again. No. He didn't use the sling to kill other Goliath. It wasn't only um, it wasn't only Goliath that was killed. That was the giant that was killed in the Bible. But for every other war that David went for, you know, he didn't use the sling again. So it means there is time, there is room, you know, for immaturity. There is room for unpreparedness. You're not prepared. You know, you're mature. 
but you just find yourself maybe by the reason of opportunity, you find yourself doing something, you find yourself, you know, you just called for something, maybe you're called for location, you're called maybe to minister somewhere, and you know, you were not that trained, you've not really developed yourself, but opportunity came. And then you did it and it was your first time you know it's your it's your like your introduction to search and you you shouldn't just say oh because i did very well in that um in that area i did very well in that administration so i should just um i should just continue you don't just continue you have to use a lot of things. You have to develop yourself. You have to now go for self-development, personal development, so that by the time you are being called for such a thing the next time, you know, you're prepared. Because it's not an, ex a, an excuse when you, you, are, you say, okay, ignorance. It's not an excuse. You have to really prepare yourself for what you want to do. You really need to prepare yourself for that which God has put in your hand. David had to get trained you know, trained to use the, the whole armor of war, you know, getting to use the shield, getting to use the sword, getting to use the helmet, getting to use, you know, everything, you know, the, the boot and everything that is being used for war. He was, he was prepared before the next war, he was prepared. He didn't go to the next war using the sling, which means that whatever you are doing now, fine, God has helped you. You know, God has helped you at the beginning of your business. God has helped you at the beginning of what you're doing. You know, God has helped you. But you shouldn't now rely on that immaturity. You shouldn't rely on that little knowledge that you have. You shouldn't rely on it. You should be prepared. You should develop yourself. Get developed, please. You know, there is this um, slogan by, um, by Boy Scouts, be prepared. Whether you, you, you be prepared, you know, you prepare for war in the time of peace. You do not prepare for war in the time of battle, at the time that battle has come. That is not when you prepare. You know, opportunity can come at any time. So it's ignorance is not an excuse. So you shouldn't say, oh, I didn't know. If I had known, I would have developed myself. If I had known, I would have, you know, I would have gone for more courses. If I had known, I would, I would have gone for training. No, it's not an excuse. You know, you have, you, have, you, you, you have everything. Everything is at your disposal. So as a person, as a minister in whichever area, you should be ready, be ready to do what? To develop yourself. And this is a call to excellence. Call to excellence. That, okay, fine. You know, you are doing it. But how are you doing it? Are you doing it in the best way possible? Or you're just doing it anyhow? As a child of God, you know, our God is a God of excellence. You know, God wants, God perfects every of his things. He doesn't just do things anyhow. You know, he would have prepared for it. He would have prepared, he would have, you know, he knows from the, from the beginning, he had known what he wanted to do. You know, he knows the end, even from the beginning. So as a child of God, we should also be prepared. Now I want to say that we should also, as, um, as children of God, you know, this is also a call to training our lambs. Train your lambs. Just like the virgins, they had their lambs. But some of them, they were all virgins. You know, they were all virgins. We are children of God. But how prepared are we? How prepared are you for that which God has committed into your hands? So they did not, some of them, the five, we call them foolish virgins. They were virgins, you know, they were virgins, but yet they were foolish. They did not trim their lambs. They had no oil. They did not have sufficient, sufficient um, oil in their lambs. So at the, at, at the tail end, you know, at the 11th hour, they started running around trying to get prepared what what they should have done before the coming of the bridegroom they didn't do it so as a child of god you should be ready at every time opportunities will come do not procrastinate do not say i'm going to do it another time i'm going to do it next week i'm going to do it um, next year you have opportunity to go for courses go for it do, is it that you have only let me start from school start you know, you have only your SSE, you know, you don't just stay like that and say, after all, you know, I had my SSE, yet I am, I am like, 
I am, um, I am progressing. You think you're progressing, but I'm telling you an opportunity is coming that your SSC will not be able to take you there. You know, will, will not be able to help you at that time. So it is high time you decided that, okay, this is what I have now in my hand. I want to develop myself. I do not just want to stay on this spot. Some people will say, why? Why do I need to develop myself? Why? There were, some will even say, um, who, who degree help? You know, you don't say, don't join them to say, okay, why do I need to have a degree? You see, you can go for a degree, just improve on yourself, develop yourself. If you have your degree, you can think about having your master's program. It's not only when you want to work and, um, you know, you want to get a white collar job that you start developing yourself, going around, you know. No, you can have your master's education. We learn. Learning is continuous. So you can develop yourself and you decide, okay, this is what I want to do for time. So you develop yourself. Please do not wait. Do not wait. Do not wait. Develop yourself. Get something doing at every point in time. Get something doing. Don't just say, oh, this is what I want to do. Oh, okay, because um, I've had my degree, because I've had, I've had my degree. So that is that should be the bus stop. It shouldn't be your bus stop. You should work on developing yourself. Go for more. Go for more. Develop yourself. If you have your degree already, do not wait. Okay, go for master's. After master's, you can decide to go further. And as you know, as a music, as a music minister, as a drama minister, you can decide and say, okay, I want to go for professional courses. So you start going for professional courses. You don't just wait. As a drama minister, you can say, okay, I want to go for professional courses. I want to go for diploma course in this, the, the diploma course in that. You know, you, okay, okay, I'm a drama minister. I want to be, I really, I do not just want to be an actor. I want to be part of the crew. So I want to develop myself. Okay, I want to go for courses, whether in makeup, you know, whether you want to be very good at being a makeup artist, you want to be very good at continuity, you want to be very good at um, maybe light, you know, you want to be very good at sound, you know, you want to be very good at, um, you know, some are production managers, some are location managers, you know, just in editing, you can just develop yourself in these areas. You know, every year, you, have, you need to have something that you have put down that, okay, this is what I want to add. This is what I want to add to my life. Okay, this is the course I want to go for this year. This is what I want to, you know, learn more about. There shouldn't be any year that you will not, like at the end of the year, like now we're in June. June is the end of the first half of the year. So if I want to ask now, I can ask, okay, what have you, what, how have you developed yourself this year? What have you added to your life this year? You know, what course? Have you gone for this year? What have you added to that profession that you're into this year? You need to start asking. If you're not asking yourself questions, you know, you will not go far. You just discover that you are on a sport and learning is continuous. We learn on a daily basis. Age is not a barrier. Age is not a barrier. So we should learn. We should desire to know more. We should desire, you know, to, 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 we should desire to, to, to get to acquire knowledge, acquire knowledge. There is time for everything. You know, there is time to gather and there is time, you know, just to spread, to spread. And what you do not have, you cannot give. What you do not have, you cannot give. So this is a call for you to please improve on yourself. Okay, now we've talked about that. You know, as a person, you want to develop yourself. Also, I want to talk about dress sense dress sense you know dress sense you need to develop on this do not just say oh who is looking at me you know who is looking at me as a man as a man whether you're an actor you know or you're a music music minister you know development you know i told you we learn on daily basis we learn like a man a man should not put on a brown belt with a black shoe you know or a black belt with a brown shoe you know, you learn all these things. This, this is part of what we learn as a woman or as a man. We learn color combination. For example, as a drama minister, you know, you have to just 
look at yourself and okay, what do I need to improve on? Is it my wardrobe? Is it my wardrobe? You start thinking about it. What do I need? What do I need? Even as an actor, do I need the pajamas? Even as an actor, you know, what kind of slippers or uh, flip flop? You know, do I need what kind of slippers? Do I need what kind of slippers? What kind of shoes do I need for a particular location? What sort of, if I'm being called, you know, for this role or that role, do I have what I need? Will I not be going around, you know, or will I depend solely on the costumier? No, there are things you start, you know, you start putting together in order to improve yourself, in order to be a better person, to be a better actor. You know, being an actor shouldn't be that you use the same attire on every location. You know, it's not about getting expensive things. It's just about getting variety of things, being an actor. Even as a music minister, I don't know whatever you are doing, you know, we need to really work on it. Work on our wardrobes, work on our color combination, work on our dress sense it matters a lot it matters a lot you know the choice of shoes the choice of wears i've talked about that we you know we you, we need to do what to work on this okay talking about addiction fine we need to also work on addiction the way we speak right pronunciation of words you know it's part of personal development how do you read you know reading reading is even different from from speaking so how do you read do you read flat you know, we need to consciously go for all these things, all these trainings, whether you want to develop yourself in the aspect of diction, right pronunciation, you know, reading, your voice of an artist, you need to work on how you read, how you pronounce things, you know, how you pronounce words, you need to work on it. Are you, are you, I don't know whether um, yeah, I've talked about being an actor, even as a singer, you have to work on it. It's very important, diction, right pronunciation of words, you work on it, you know, right use of intonation, you know, right use of stress, you know, right, you, you know, work on your rhythm and all that, so that when you talk, your talking will not be flat, it will be rhythmic, you know, everybody will want to listen to you talk. So that's another ax uh, aspect. So now I want to talk about research. As a drama minister, or as a music minister, I don't know which area, you know, God has called you, you know, to minister in the kingdom of God. This is a call to self-development. Kingdom perspective about self-development is a topic, you know, that you're talking about tonight. Okay, I want to say that research. You want to talk about research and you're uh, maybe a customer. You need to research, you need to like, look for things you google you know okay what is the best what is in vogue what do they put on you know looking at the location looking at the script you have before you make research the type of clothing you know everything the wears that people are going to put on what is it they use in so 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 years what are they using now what did they use in the ancient times what are they using now you know everything has to just work together you know you don't use old things when you you, you us to use new things, you know, you work on it. If, is it hairstyle, you know, for makeup artists, hairstyle, you know, props, everything. We talk about it. Is it about set designing? You need to make research. You need, you know, you need to be abreast of things. You need to, to get to be abreast. You have information working for you. You have information all around you. You open your ears, you know, you hear from people. What are they, what are they, you know, what are they using now? What is in vogue? What is, what is being used, you know, in the present time, you know, how the best way to do what you are doing, you need to make research. Are you a DOP? You know, you know about the camera, you know about the angles, you know about, are you, are you in charge of lighting, you know, light? How do I lighten this place? How do I do this? You need to, you know, make research, ask questions. And, you know, you learn from people, people here and there. You learn from people, you open your ears, you open your eyes, you know, you're very sensitive, you know, about things that are happening around you. Are you a makeup artist? You know, you know what is being used, the, the best things to use, the best things that you need to use now, you know, making, you know, from like Sister Nikki, oh, I've learned a lot, you know, aging, people want to do aging. They use so many things then, but now, you know, when you see uh, making people up, as an old man or old woman, you see different things she uses and you'll be like, wow, you know, this is very good. You know, you learn things. You don't just be on the spot using a cake, 
a cake, you know, of solid methods to do things. You need to make research, you need to work on yourself, work on yourselves. And another thing is that, you know, make your research. You know, some people, actors, we get a script and then we just look at it. We want, nowadays, people want to use the, best, the simplest way to achieve things, fine, it's fine. You know, we do not want to go outside the box. We do not want to like, um, you know, make, um, make research. We do not want to do things that are exceptional. We do not want to do it. You know, we have some actors, that's what we talk about development. You are being called as an actor and you're going for location and they tell you, okay, according to the script or they just call you, you're going to be an old woman, old woman. I just say, okay, fine. Fine, I'll be there. You're not asking questions. If an old woman, <laughs> you're going to ask the characterization of the old woman, you know, from the script. Because many script writers now, they're lazy about the way they write. So the characterization is very poor, it's shallow, it's not deep. This is another call to self development. Are you a script writer? Please, your characterization, make it very deep. Let it not be shallow. Talk about the temperament of the person, talk about the age, talk about, you know, things the person does, talk about the hobby, you know, you talk about a lot of things that makes it easier for the actor. It shouldn't just be that to be the actor that to determine the type of person or the kind of person he or she will be on set, on location, you know, in the movie. As a script writer, please be very deep, you know, in your descriptive, um, um, power, like you just explained, be very deep about your characterization. You know, many actors, you know, they describe, they're very good at describing the location, the geographical, you know, everything they tell you where you are and everything. But about the person that is acting, they do not really give a deep, you know, explanation, deep description about the person. So if you're acting as an old woman, you would have ask yourself or you ask the, those people what type of old woman am i going to be you know what's what's my age bracket you know besides saying old woman you, you know some people would just say old woman what's the age bracket is she like 90 years plus is it is she 70 years old is she like around 60 years or 50 plus you know you ask when you ask you'll be able to prepare your costume you'll be able to prepare how your speech will be like like, are you going to, your, your speech, is it going to be slow? You know, your speech, is it going to be fast? Your speech, is it going to be like average? You're, you're not speaking too fast, you're not speaking too slowly. You know, you, you determine, when you, when you know your characterization, you know who you're going to be. Okay, you're acting and you're being asked. I, I, I used to say this a lot, that drama ministers now, especially in Christendom, we don't like, um, develop ourselves in the area of, okay, like um, I use this person, like all these Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, all these people, you know, Sylvester Stallone, Jackie Chan and all that, you know, they're not army officers, but you see them flying the parachutes, you know, you see them, you know, just jumping down from the aircraft, from the airplane, they're not army officers. They had to go and learn this. They had to go and, you know, learn how to do a lot of things just because of acting, just because of film production. But drama ministers were just like, it is what I want, what I can do. You're looking for someone that can swim. It's very hard to find in Christian film industry. You can swim very well. How, you know, has there ever been a year that you just said that you said this year, what I want to do, what I want to develop myself on is how to swim. And you learn how to swim preparing for war in the time of peace. Because you just, you just think about it. You know, the opportunity can come and you're going to be, you're going to act and in that, um, in that um, film or in that production, you, the, uh, the characterization is this person can swim and you're just seeing yourself or finding yourself in the river or in the swimming pool. How do you go about it? Will you say, ah, oh, let's cut that off because I cannot swim. Or will you say, oh, maybe um, you can get someone else to swim or something like that. You know, you should be some, somebody that can do a lot of things. An actor should be able to do so many things. You know something about everything. 
know something about everything. So is there a year that you're going to like sit down and you say this new year or the remaining part of this year, I want to learn how to ride a, a motorbike, like a motorcycle. I want to learn how to ride what you call Okada, whether it's not even Okada, you know, whether in a film, you know, the opportunity is just coming and, uh, and according to the script, you're going to ride the power bike. Will you not say, oh, how do I do this? You know, you can learn a lot of things in preparation for anything that, that can come up that we add, you know, to add um, it to spice up the movie, to spice up, uh, spice up the production. Learn to do so many things. Okay, as an actor, I should learn how to make hair. You know, you're not the costume, you're not the makeup artist, but maybe in that film, you need, maybe you're just somewhere and you're stranded. And uh, according to the script, you know, you're just there for like maybe one, two months. And are you going to tell us that your hair is changing or, um, and you will not explain why? Maybe you have a child with you and we can see you making the hair of the child. So you can decide to learn how to braid. You can decide to learn how to make hair just because of what? Just because of film production, just because you want to be a better actor. You learn how to do things. You learn how to, how to, uh, to, to, to cut, to cut the hair. You know, you learn how to do it. Why? Just in the name of film production, you want to learn how to do a lot of things. Some people, you know, you can just decide to learn. I want to learn how to tap, how to tap from the palm tree, how to tap, you know, maybe according to the film or the script. Imagine seeing someone, a drama minister, the opening scene is you're just tapping palm wine, you know, and you're there on the tree and they see you doing it very well. Be like, wow, this is very creative learning to do so many things, you know, so that our productions will not just be normal, like, you know, something usual. We start doing unusual things. We start doing things that people can see and be like, wow, this is very wonderful. This is very good. As a drama minister, can you just, okay, say, or, or maybe even as, um, you, you know, you are singing and, you know, you, let, let me talk about uh, um, those that are singing now, you know, your voice, and everything, and we see so many people now. Many people will say, "Okay, I'm not acting. I'm just, I'm just a singer." You know, I, I minister in songs. Yet now we see so many people. Like when I went to MBA, National Broadcast Academy, I could remember one of my lecturers then telling us that there is presentation in acting, and there is acting in presentation. That means that um, you know, many times you're singing and you're acting at the same time or you are acting and you are singing at the same time. So even as a drama minister, you can decide and say, okay, I want to learn how to sing. Okay, I want to learn, you know, there's some songs you just decide to learn. You don't say, why should I learn that song? Because you do not know. Maybe the next location you're going for, you need to sing that particular song. You don't say, I, I don't know how to sing, oh, you need to get someone else. You know, you don't say that, you say, okay, please let's cut that aspect off because I do not know how to say there is no excuse you need to develop yourself you need to develop yourself you know so many people i heard i read about war room and i saw how you know they went outside the box training you know jumping ropes jumping ropes is not is not an easy thing but in that film war room some of them had to learn how to jump the rope just because of that movie just because of that movie so we need to really work on ourselves. We need to really develop ourselves, you know, as drama ministers. There are so many things we need to learn. We need to learn, we should start thinking outside the box. What is it I've been doing? Okay, I need to, I need to do it better. What is the best way to do it? How do I introduce excellence in what I am doing? How do I, you know, develop myself? How is it that when I'm being called for another location, they'll be like, wow, this person has changed. You know, this person has really improved. Everybody loves people that are, you know, you're just progressing, you're just moving. You're not on a spot, you're not static. You're not stationary on a spot, you're not stationary. You know, you're moving. They see that you're developing yourself, you're working on yourself. They will like you, you know, they want to associate you know, 
with you. So please, let's work on ourselves. Let's work. Let's trim our lamps. You know, let's trim our lamps. You know, let's um, let's change. Let's not depend on the sling. At a point, the sling will expire. You know, this the sling will expire. You know, do not depend too much on your sling. It is high time you started doing things differently. It is high time you went for that course. It is high time, you know, you went for that training. It is high time. You started changing the way you think about your dresses. You changed. It is high time you changed, you know, the way you, you know, you dress. It is high time, you know, the way you changed, you know, your perspective about things. As a drama minister, as a music minister, I don't know whatever you're doing, whatever business, whether the script writer, whether the DOP, you know, whether I don't know, whatever you were doing, start thinking about how do you become a better person? How, you know, how to be a better person, a better gaffer, a better sound man, a better script writer, a better um, um, DOP, you know, a better makeup artist a better continuity manager, you know, a better, you know, location manager, a better, a better um, production manager, you know, a better editor. How do you become a better editor? Are you subtitling? Are you subtitling? That's another area. Are you subtitling? And you're just there. You do not know that there are sentences that are not, you know, expressions, wrong expressions, you know? <laughs> You know, you just use some expressions and you're subtitling and people will be like, why, 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 why did she use that? Why did he use that? So you need to work on yourself in these aspects. You need to work on yourself. Okay, I, I do not want to use this word. I do not want to use this expression. How, how you know, how well or what, what better expression can I use, you know, to translate this particular line in this movie, you know, we talk about that too, you think about that. You know, drama ministry is very wide, film production is very wide, that you don't, you know, when you're not developing yourself, you become obsolete. You become obsolete, you know, it's not good to become obsolete, you need to work on yourself, and then when you work on yourself, you will not become obsolete, and people will like, wow, okay, this person is changing, this person is moving with time, moving with time you know go for trainings go for lectures develop yourself david developed himself so i do not know hello sir okay so because i know so many people are watching right now but i don't know if you have any question in mind you can still get in touch with me but i want to say that this is the meeting of this year 2021 you need to ask yourself what have you achieved what have you achieved in the area of um, self-development, personal development about yourself? Is there a course that you've been thinking about? You know, I want to go for, maybe I want to go for, I want to go to Sedu, I want to go to Tricoms, I want to go for Mount Zion, you know, I want to go, you know, go for diploma course there, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want, you know, thinking about going for those courses, what step, what practical step are you, you know, are you, are you putting in place what step are you taking in achieving that which you have written down to be, you know, your, like your resolution, what you're thinking about doing to develop, to develop yourself. So we need to really think about these things. I want to like, I'm looking forward to, you know, um, a movie that you see people, you know, under the water. I'm looking forward to, to like, um, I'm looking forward to watching movies, Christian productions, and you see, you know, actors, you know, doing so many things that um, are outside the box. Things that, you know, you see or be, you, and you feel like, wow, this is wonderful. This is very creative. You know, you can also watch on YouTube also, please watch. And I want to say that so many things that we need to do. You know, when we talk about sound too, you know, many sound, many sound sounds that we, we we listen to now, you know, we listen to a lot of sounds. Oh, we, just, we, just, we just feel like, wow, the, is that what type of right, what type of gun? You know, when the, you, you are a sound man, 
and you are you are to work, you are to give us the sound of a gun, and then you do not really develop yourself to ask what type of gun. You know, AK-47, the way it is sound will be different from rifle. You know, the way it is sound will be different from, you know, we have different types of guns. You know, you do not just put, you know, for every type of guns, you, you just, every type of gun that you're using, you just put in a particular, just one sound. It is wrong. You don't just use a particular sound for every, whether it is um, Shakabula that the hunters are using or AK-47, you know, or rifle or anything. It just is a particular sound. So we have different phony sounds. We call them phony sounds that you can use. But you say, wow, this is very perfect. Right? It is very, very original, you know, very original. So how are you developing yourself as a, as a sound man? You know, how are you developing yourself? We need to work on ourselves so that we can put excellence in what we are doing. We need to work on ourselves. You know, I've, I've um, read a lot of, about some things. I could, um, I watched this movie. That movie is um, Queen of Katwe. Queen of Katwe, you know, was being acted the lead role. One of the lead roles there, the man is um, Oyelowo, you know. Oyelowo is there, is a, is, a, is a Nigerian, but is there over there and he, he acted as the teacher, you know, as the coach in that movie. And, you know, I had to go and read about him. I was like, wow, I was able to do this. And I read that for that particular movie, he had to go and learn how to speak English the Ugandan way, the Ugandan way, you know, he has his accent, he's a, he's a Nigeria, but he's also a, a British Nigerian. He has double citizenship and you know, he had to go and learn how to speak English, the Ugandan way. That is very creative. You know, you know, it's not just that it's coming and it's just speaking like that. He had to like, you know, make people believe according to the characterization that he's, he's um, an Ugandan. He's not an Ugandan, you know, he's not a Ugandan, he's not a Ugandan, no. He's not a Uganda. He's not from Uganda. That's what I'm saying. And you know, he was able to speak it very well. He's not a Ugandan. And another thing is, I watched what this movie to one in fifty thousand, one in fifty thousand, and um, this Ra Ademola Olajide, you know, is in that movie, and um, is in that movie, and in that movie, he was acting as a doctor, and um, you know. Like in that movie, the mother had to fly the daughter to South, Af uh, South Africa. And in South Africa, Bra Ademola was there. He acted, as, he acted as the doctor. And he had to learn how to speak English, the South African way. He had to make research. You know, he made research and he was able to do it. And he, you know, he spoke so well, few lies, few lies, but he was able to convince us that, okay, he's, he, he's actually there. According to the characterization, you know, he had... He had studied, he had studied it very well. Okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm a doctor, Dr. Fan, where? Where am I, where am I as a doctor? And, and according to that script, it's not in Nigeria, it's in South, Af it's in South Africa. And he, he acted it so well. So that's what we're talking about. You know, some people will say, okay, you're going to act as a friend, a friend to who? A friend to who? You know, when you ask yourself questions, you know, what type of a person is my friend that I'm acting as a friend to? Is she the is she a Bonnegan Christian? You know, according to the film, is she Bonnegan? Is she the type that okay, whether we are we are friends, fellowship sister, how do I dress? How do I prepare my costume? We need to start thinking outside the box so that by the time you get to location, they will say, Oh, they will not say that uh, your your costume does not match your character in this movie so you start like well you said i'm a friend well you had a friend well you didn't really you know because the script writer didn't really let you know the type of person or you didn't really study the script very well we need to study our script very very well and i was talking about dresses now said so the dress sense dress sense to you know that we have some striped striped clothes that you don't put on you know before the camera because of the movement. You know, it moves like this, like all this vertical, vertical, um, um, vertical stripe. The strap is vertical lines on the dress. And you know, when you put it on, 
and you're moving before the camera, it doesn't give a good, a good, um, a good um, vision. It doesn't give a clear vision. It's not very good. You know, we need to really make research and know and know more about what we are doing. We're not just doing it for doing sake. We're actually doing it because we want to the most believability, believability in whatever we are doing. The most believability. So whether you're a drama minister or you are a singer or you are into anything, I don't know what you might be into. You know, when you put excellence in whatever you do, you know, you have it in the, at the back of your mind that, okay, this that I'm doing, I'm not just doing it. I'm going to do it the best way possible. And you discover that you not become obsolete. Do not become obsolete. So please let's put this in our minds. Color combination, very key. You know, dress sense, very key. Trim your lamps, you know, go, just improve on yourself. Go back to school if you need to, go for trainings if you need to, you know, go for work workshops if you need to, it will help you, it will help you a lot. And make research, make research, just research. Make your findings, know something about what you want to do and be ready to learn. Be ready to learn at all times. Be ready to learn and we should be humble. We should be humble as a drama minister. Let's make sure we are humble with whatever we are doing. When we are humble, we will learn a lot. But when we are not humble, we are being corrected and, we are, and you're saying, I already know it. Or I was already thinking about it. Let's be very, very humble. When you are humble, you learn from a lot of people. Even people will be ready to teach you what you do not know. But when you're not humble with what you are doing, it will, you know, you will not learn a lot. You have people, we have people around us, people, are, people that are very good. We have great DOPs around us. We have great makeup artists around us. We have people around us that you can learn from. And if you think, okay, I do not have money, and because I do not have enough money, so I cannot go for trainings, I cannot go for workshops, I cannot go to schools. We have free schools now, free schools online. Go online, read. It only costs you reading. Read online, go online, Google, search for whatever topic. You will have something about it. You can watch. Once you have your phone, you have data, you can just Google and you learn a lot about so many things. You learn how to make a lot of things. Even as a makeup artist, you can learn on Google, you can learn online, you can learn on the net. So nobody has an excuse, nobody. You have no excuse. The Bible says we're surrounded by cloud of witnesses. So if you have, you're saying, oh, it was because of this. That is why I did, I, I did not become a better person or maybe that is why I, did, I was not able to do this. Another person will stand up and be a witness and be able to stand up against you and say, no, you have no excuse because I also did not have this opportunity. I did not have that opportunity, yet I was able to do this. I was able to do that. And also part of self-development is learning to improvise. You can learn to improvise. You know, if something is not available, how do I improvise? How do I use another thing? You know, how do I do it? I, I've seen, I've heard, you know, Brakunle Adepoju is um is a DOP, is also into light and all that. And you know, I've seen so many things he has created, so many things he created just to make his um film like um his DOP being a cameraman, you know, to to be better. He, he had to to improvise a lot of things, and people are copying it. Like, wow, how did you do this? How did you do that? You know, he was able to do it. So you do not need to say because I do not have access to this, so that was why I couldn't do it. You have no excuse. Please go for trainings, learn on daily basis, try to know something about everything. Know something about everything. Develop yourself. Drama ministers, let's especially kingdom drama, especially kingdom actors, let's develop ourselves. Let's begin to think outside the box. Let's begin to think outside the box. And I want to say that as Christian um, film, producers, as actors, whatever we are doing in Christendom, let's value relationship, relationship. You know, what money cannot give you, relationship will give you. Let's value relationship. 
you know, let's be men of integrity. When you have integrity, people can say, this is what this person can do per time. You know, you're a man of your word. It will help you a lot. It is part of, it is part of self-development. If you're someone that people cannot say, whatever he says, believe it. You know, try to work on yourself. And you say, this year, I'm working on myself. I'm going to change. I'm going to be a man of my word. I'm going to work on my relationship with other people. You know, work on your relationship. It will help you a lot. Where you, where, 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 you know, where your leg cannot get you to, relationship will get you there. I mean, opportunities that you cannot get really, you know, by your own doing. You know, you just see that opportunities are coming just because of relationship, because you have built a name for yourself. You know, your name can, can get to places and people will say, oh, this sister sent you here. Oh, this brother, you know, when you have good relationship with people, when people know you to be a man of your word, you know, you can even get locations, places to use for free without much ado. You get those places because already you have a name for yourself. Part of self-development, work on relationship, work on integrity, work on it. It is very important, whatever, no matter how gifted you are, no matter how gifted you are, no matter how good you are, no matter how developed you have developed yourself, you have worked on yourself, but you lack integrity, you will not go far. So integrity is key when it, when it comes to self-development. Integrity is key when it comes to progress. Integrity is key. The Lord help us. The Lord will, you know, help us to, to be, to, to be, you know, the man beyond what we even think we can be to be the man that God has called us to be, to fulfill purpose in life. Part of fulfilling purpose in life is developing ourselves, not being on a spot. Let's work on ourselves. The Lord will help wow. us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, sir. Wow, Bless wow, you. wow, wow. For this hey. opportunity. I don't know if there is yes. questions. Ask any question. you have anything to say, please. Okay. Wow. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I intentionally release you to, just like what I did for my uh, my guest the last time, I released I released him to, to express himself more because these are the things that is needed and um, they will be seeing your face alone. They will soon see my face anyway. And, um, let, me, let me read quickly what somebody said on the YouTube. Uh, I don't know his name, but he said great. The person just mentioned great. Uh, some other people are also watching on the YouTube. My question would be, can you itemize, aside training, you lay emphasis on training. Uh, aside training, can you emphasize how I can also do a personal development? How I can de develop myself uh, personally? How can I do? You so much, your verse in Yoruba, in English, you so much verse. What's the secret behind it? How do you, it's only training. Tell me, it's only training. <laughs> okay, so do you know why I was saying training? Because many people have this talent. They have this gift. But when we talk about training, especially Christians, we do not want to pay to be trained. We want everything for free. But when, when, once, you, know, when you go for trainings and you pay for them, you pay for the training and um, you know, you are committed to it. You will not take it with levity. You will not just throw the certificate somewhere. And after some years, people will ask you, well, you've gone for trainings. They say, yeah, it's true. You know, it's true because it's for free. But when you pay for trainings, it helps a lot. You know, you put your mind there. You will not want your money to waste. Some people do not care. You know, but I want to say that beyond going for training, number one to self-development is you change your mindset. You change your mindset. What I mean by mindset is you start seeing yourself differently. We all have a background. We all have where we started from. But we do not just, we do not look what we've been through. 
it is not just a day journey. It is not just um, what we just, um, you just stand up tomorrow and say, okay, I want to develop myself. You change your mindset. You change the way you think. You change the way you see yourself. For example, I can use the cutlery. I can use it like using fork and knife now to eat. Why? Why did I develop? Why did I train myself to be able to use the knife and the fork? Why? Okay. Some will say, am I not just in my room? Why do I need to do that? I stopped seeing myself where I am. I started seeing myself where I will be in the next 20 years. I start seeing myself where God wants me to be, even beyond. Do you understand my point? So when you see yourself in that way, you will not start, you will not have a sense of mediocrity. You have to get, you know, you have to, you know, you have to do away with sense of mediocrity. Mediocrity, we need to step up to excellence. Excellence should not step down to mediocrity. So you change your mindset about things. When they tell you, stop dragging your feet when you walk, you don't say, who is looking at me? You know, because you don't know where you're going to. When you change your mindset about life, you change your mm. mindset about where you're going to be. That's you know, right. you start, change, you, start, you, start you, you know, you start change, developing yourself, reading. Reading, not mm. only going for trainings that you've said, I've talked too much about training. You read, how well do you read? You can read, you know, when you read, what has taken the person that has written the book 20 years to acquire, you are learning and gaining it in one day, in one hour. You are learning it like that. So you read, you watch, you watch, you know, you start working on what you listen to, what you listen to, what you, what you hear, what you watch, what you read. These are things that make you, the people you listen to, the people you pay attention to, you yeah. pay attention to mentor you, the mm. people that mm. you are looking up to, that you're learning from their lives, they matter. That is part of self-development too. Who is your mm. mentor? Who are you learning from? What type of book are you reading? What type of things, messages, what type of um, inspirational things are you listening to? What type of messages? You know, the men of God you listen to, the messages you listen to, the people you watch, the people that you listen to, that you take advice from, what type of people are they? So if you are reading, I know a brother of mine, you know, every year he has the books he has to read on, you know, monthly basis. He has books he has to read. But now we don't invest in ourselves. We don't buy books. We don't go for trainings. We don't buy, we don't buy messages. You know, even messages that are free. We don't. Books are there online, free. We are not reading. You know, these are things that will really help us in our, in our, in our journey into self-development and in, in becoming what God has really proposed you know, us to be in life. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I intentionally say that because when you say training, training does not really mean only when you go to physical school, yeah. which you have also said. Uh, yeah. Training does not only mean when you are going to conventional, you can also read books on people or from people. You can also understudy them. You can also be with them. You can also do this mentee thing. And um, for many of you who have been watching, this is a special drama film school online. Uh, the first of its kind on Facebook Live in four years, four years ago. And now it's on YouTube. You remember I said at that time, I said, now we're going to be on YouTube. Now it's now on YouTube. And uh, we have our guest, by the grace of God, Oluwabumi Bamitale, a blessed mom, a mom of four. And... Um, She's, she's, I, I not no counting again. Don't think I, some people say, I still can no counting again. We have counted and uh, we are good at uh, what we are counting. Okay. And uh, we bless the name of the Lord for what has been dished out this evening. Honestly, uh, I'm so happy 
that you're able to touch so many areas because I used to say something, special drama film school online. No, it's a division of the sort of excellent drama film university. And um, I always tell people, not everybody will come to a training school. And I thank God you also said it because if you cannot come to Sedu, you can go to Mount Zion, you can go to Trecom, you can go to Crystalline, you can go to as many drama ministers who have a very viable um, uh, training school. You can go to Gideon, uh, Gideon's Institute and all that. I'm say, Papa, Paul, why do you like to also mention other people? I say, I'm showing what I want to read. So mm -hmm. if you cannot reach me, maybe it's your bandage is the one you can reach. You don't have to rush yourself to reach me. Then you go, okay? You know, maybe you can know you are in Lagos. Some people say, okay, we cannot come like that. You understand? Somebody said that's a bad market. No, that's not bad market. Whatever you do for people, it will also be. At the beginning, I learned and I'm still learning from all manner of genuine, genuine sources. All right? And it's helping us. And I want to appreciate that, sister, because um, this evening, you have... Um, you have, you have nailed it so much, and I like it that way because uh, we know that we're still going to call on you uh, because due to the ongoing program of uh, Father and the Lord, the, the empowerment, that's why we're stopping on time, and we want to appreciate that grace uh, of, of God in that regard. Please, what our sister has told us, please and please, let's use it. Let's pay attention on it. If you have your first degree and the brain is still there and the opportunity is still there, go for your second. If second, second. <laughs> so go for your second and then you also do your third. Okay? So if you can go on, go on. Don't, don't say, oh, this brother. I know that it's not about four words. You can actually develop yourself. That's why I talk about self-development. I'm a product of self-development, and I'm glad that um, God has helped me. When, when I go to my Facebook, I didn't tell people, I didn't put the diplomas I have there. I just put SSC. And people say, ah, deliberately, I just put it there. I have SSC. They say, oh, okay, I'm a school saturday. I say, no, how come? Oh, this, and they begin to argue. I say, well, <laughs> I don't know why people argue. That is what I have. And they say, but you went to this, you went to I said, don't worry. Those one are secondary, but the one I want to use <laughs> is to tell you that I didn't go to school, you know, mm -hmm. and very soon one day I'm going to put that thing that I do not go to school and people want to watch what is what it means. But in the, maybe in the next one or two years, I'm still going to do that. I'm having a project of one or two years to do that, that I do not go to school. <laughs> so when people are begin to wonder how come, and that is what um, our evangelist, as, as said today, our coach, our entrepreneur, 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 <laughs> not entrepreneur. <laughs> Sometimes in this training school, we have we have been so used to a lot of corrections that even when we are, we ourselves want to fall into into those mistakes, we are putting attention on it. That oh, don't do that. You have to pay attention in pronouncing it right, and um, you keep on firing. By the grace of God, we have been talking on personal development, kingdom perspective on personal development. Don't just say everybody has been saying it in one way. You don't want to do it in another way. Two questions before I release you tonight. All right. Uh, number one question. Do you have um, a recommendation of books or books on how to pronounce things, on how to develop ourselves, maybe as a script writer, as a movie maker, as a movie maker, do you have some recommendation, books, title of books, dictionaries, and all that? Let's go, man. Okay, thank you very much. I want to say that um, when it comes to right pronunciation, you know, it's not really done via mm, text alone. You know, it has to be audiovisuals. So it has to be audiovisuals, and that is why if you really want to be very good at, you know, at pronunciation, pronouncing things, at, um, you know, speaking right and all that, and you want to develop yourself, you cannot just take a book. Before you can take a book and say, I want to read to know the right pronunciation of these words, you can only do that with few words few words, but other words you want to really know how to pronounce words very well, that means you must have gone for a training or a course 
where you learn the sounds the 49 sounds of the English language, you know, you must have mastered those sounds, master the transcriptions. After mastering the transcriptions, that is when you can take up any book on pronunciation and you can um, like independently on your own say, I want to learn how to pronounce this words, that word and like that. But the best way to, I cannot really, because if I say, Go and take any book now. You know, it will not really teach you because you're not going to hear and you're not going to see. And right pronunciation has to do with hearing and has to do with you seeing the formation of the mouth when the word is being pronounced. It's not really about um, reading it. It's not about reading it, you know, before you know how you learn how to, to pronounce words correctly. But when we're talking about, okay, the right dictionary to use i would say that you get on um, this dictionary cep um uh, that is cambridge c um, cambridge pronouncing english dictionary that's cped so you get it by daniel jones by daniel jones in broadcasting word we call it the bible you know we call it the broadcaster's bible so when you get that you get it's not that big but it's not that big, but the content, the, the, the content in the in the dictionary is um, you know, more than some of these big dictionaries that you have at home. So when you have Daniel Jones, Cambridge pronouncing English dictionary, you know, we have it, it will help you like that. CPD, Cambridge English Pronouncing Dictionary. Cambridge English Pronouncing Dictionary, it will help you a lot. But right pronunciation, pronouncing words correctly is best done via audio visuals, not really okay. by reading. Okay. okay, thank you, ma. You have been listening and watching Oluwa Bumi Bamitale, the producer of Iro Fufun White Light. And I want to recommend you to go to our YouTube channel, Oluwa Bumi Bamitale, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can get to her on the social media and um uh, she will still tell us more how we can get her on social media i know i have a boomy there is a boomy something uh no i, I was following one boomy thing and yeah, um we're, but i know of we're, and we're working on um where we'll also we'll soon be done with the production of our audio audio visuals on pronunciation we have the audio and we have wow. the book so the book we go with the audio so that when you're reading, you also listen to it in your car, you can listen to it and then you learn a lot. So it is, you know, done not just by reading. So by the time it is out, it will be all out on the net on, online that you can have access to it. So you can have okay. Access. Wow. Apologies to our non-Yoruba speaking. Auntie Washile Shan say Bulata Ro. Kilo Dino. Eh, tie go you bararani. Abba Yoruba. <laughs> Boy, it's, you, so it. it's fun it's fun and learn powerfully key to launching all right really it's fun to learn from you and all that and um um what what can you say that's the quest, closing question what can you say about this special drama film school online uh what's your what's your encouragement for other people other okay. drama minister what's what's your i don't want to say last word or closing or pattern word okay I want to say that um, as drama ministers, we should, I've, I've always been saying we should be open. We should be open, you know, to, to learn. And learning, as I've said, is open to everybody. You can learn in different ways. You can learn in different forms. You know, you can learn in different ways from people, from what you read, from what you watch, from what you hear, from what you hear, you can learn a lot so please let's be open to to knowledge let's be open you know let's be ready to learn at every time and i want to say the sky is the starting point when we're ready to learn and i want to say that opportunities are everywhere you can learn like for example look at this um online this online schedule online that you're watching now we're watching and we're learning at the same time if you go through the YouTube page, you can see a lot of things that you learn on daily. You learn from people. Like now, I can't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow, a great man of God, a brother is coming, and you know, maybe I'm already burning the cat. 
<laughs> you know, like we learn, you can learn on this platform. There are different. No, you can go ahead. It's good. Okay. What you you're know, saying I, is good. I know. Just like when uh, Bonatayo Balugu came, it was a uh, mind blowing. So we're having yeah. another brother tomorrow by the grace of God. Uh, yes, go ahead. I know about him and I cannot wait, you know, just to learn from him. So we have different platforms and one different platforms and one of one of the platform platforms is where we you're watching me now you're watching our brother paul the set man of sedu the sort of excellent drama film university you're watching him now so you can learn from different platforms and one of them is here so please let's be ready to learn we have data we have our phones you know we can do wonders on that phone that you are holding many things that i've learned online many things you know, when we were in school, in our institution, in secondary school, we did not have access to all these things, but now we have access to them. I've learned a lot. So many things were not mm. then, but now we're learning online. We're learning. This is a great opportunity. You know, do not just use your phone for phone call, call and receive. No, some have mm. the phone, they have the data. What are you doing with your data? Mm. Many we see are doing mm. online. They're online, but what are you doing online? Are you learning? Mm. Are you adding value to yourself you know it matters a lot it's not about being everywhere or now you're just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling mm. for hours and you're not learning anything not adding mm. anything to your life mm. please let's change our mindset the way we mm. think thank you sir i love that and by the grace of god i know my sister with um with a lot of things coming up 2.0 is coming up. Yeah. The addiction yeah. thing is coming up yeah. by the grace of God this month, by the grace of God. So don't miss it for anything. Like you used to say, we don't doctor anything on this program. We allow you to express yourself. This is a place of expression, full yeah. expression, your views and, and, and things you look at. And uh, it's going to be awesome in doing a lot of things for God. Yeah. I appreciate you. I really, really do appreciate you on behalf of the board of directors, and all the faculty members of the sort of excellent drama of university we want to appreciate you for coming. We know we'll call you over and over more, more, more by the grace of God. And uh, by the way, he's also one of the instructors I'm in the home. training school. I'm at home. I'm yes. at home. This is home. So I'm at home. <laughs> so anytime, I want to appreciate you, you too, sir, for the opportunity given to be here today. Thank you very much, sir. Really Thank you, man. God bless you. Till another time. I remain right. Paul in Shukwa for Oriade. Don't forget, don't just be creative, stay creative and be a person of creativity.